interview. Are you ready to use these, brothers? I am ready. Then let's do this. How's it going, everybody? This is Max McGee. I'm here with Paul Wedgworth at Bethesda's press event, checking out Brink. Paul, I understand we just got done mixing it up in some multiplayer. What are you guys showing off today? Well, we're here um, doing a, an exclusive event for press to come and check out some new missions that haven't been seen by the public or any other journalists before. So obviously, uh, GameSpot have got the, the hop on everybody else for that stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, we're, we're giving people a quick refresher, so uh, guys like yourself, come in and quickly play through Container City to get back on track, because some of you might not have seen it since E3 last year. You know, we're almost about to release May 17th. And, uh, and then I think you played through Security Tower, which is a very different type of mission. So in Container City, if you've seen the gameplay of Brink before, you know, you're attacking a security, you're escorting this defusal robot, breaking your way through the town, you know, trying to track down the location of this dirty bomb with, with various kind of construction and repair missions along the way and so on. In Security Tower, we had you guys playing as Resistance and you're trying to break out this pilot, Necheyev, from a security fortress and then escort him back to Container City. So in these multiplayer matches, there are a lot of different classes, and all of the classes have a lot of different objectives that they need to complete during the missions that involve more than just getting headshots and racking up kills. Right. Can you uh, talk more about that? Yeah, sure. I mean, the thing about Brink is it's all about coordinated team play. We want players to have a really good time, not just because they're the best guy at pulling off mid-air headshots, but because as a, a kind of thinking, you know, man or woman, they're making decisions tactically about what's going to be best for the team. So what we do is we reward you with experience points whenever you do something that makes the game more fun for someone else. So if you're playing a soldier, you're giving out ammunition as a medic, you're buffing other people's health, uh, playing an engineer, you're kind of improving the weapon capability of your teammates. When you're doing those actions, you earn experience points that help you level up. As you level up, you get cool outfits that reflect your status to everybody else. You get weapon unlocks and upgrades so you can modify your weapons to, to kind of serve specialist purposes that you really enjoy. And you get cool new abilities. Now these abilities are kind of divided into you know, new skills that you can learn in specific combat roles. So we have operative, which is like sneaky stealthy guy, soldier who's all out assault, engineer who's like support, can put down defense turrets, plant landmines. And of course, the uh, medic who can buff their teammates' health, give them adrenaline boosts, uh, throw them syringes so they can revive themselves on the battlefield and so on. Really what we're doing though is you're playing together as a coordinated team to complete something worthwhile, a series of objectives that ultimately will win you that, that battle. And there are a number of different battles in the game and you can play them from either a perspective too. So you can play through the entire game witnessing the security side of the battle with one big story arc or you can fight for the resistance witnessing their side of the story. And on top of all that you can do it as a single player game, as a cooperative game or as a multiplayer game in kind of full versus mode. So the first thing we wanted to do was really come up with a new control mechanic, and that's a new system that we call SMART. Now SMART stands for smooth movement across rough terrain, and the idea is that if I'm running around trying to shoot at people, I don't want to get stuck on tables and tires and bits of fence and everything else. Also, if I run up to a four foot high wall, you know, I want to be able to climb over it. It's a four foot high wall. I shouldn't get defeated by a wall when I'm supposed to be a super soldier. So in our game, when you're holding your sprint button, which doubles as the SMART button, you can vault, jump, slide, mantle, and climb up over containers, do wall hops off of walls to get to higher locations. And it's all procedural. You can do these things while shooting. There are no canned animations that take over. So now for the new person coming into a shooter, they have a movement fit system that feels you know, less artificial, less constrained. And I know exactly how that feels because if I play my old games now, it's so frustrating getting stuck on everything. But for the advanced player, they can now make tactical choices that they couldn't make before. If I run into a room with my gun blazing, I can choose to jump up and slide across, you know, vault over a table. I can look down and use my smart button and slide underneath it while firing at the enemy. I could do a wall hop off the side and perhaps go up through the ceiling into a different location. So I can make tactical decisions that I could never make previously. All right, well, very nice. And then uh, just remind our viewers at home, um, when your game will be coming out. Sure, well we're uh, releasing on the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3 and the PC and it's going to be out on May 17th. Alright. And be sure to check out the site for more information on Brink.